Oh, hi. I'm Angelo Ellerby. I'm the president and the CEO of Double Exposure Artist Development and Management Firm. You know, over the last 35 years, I've had the chance to work with all kinds of people from Michael Jackson to Whitney Houston to Mary J. Blige to DMX. And here recently, I've had the opportunity to embrace what was the literary world, the literary community. And some 20 years ago, I had conversation, as I have conversation with everyone underneath the world, just about the who's, the what's, the when's, the where's, and the why's of their career. And I met a phenomenal young lady who was met with trial and tribulation and growth. As I met her, she was a on-air on personality for a local uh, video show. And she started to tell me all the things that she wanted to do and her children and her husband and what was first in her life which was God. And um, I listened and, and we just explored. We had exploratory uh, meetings of the mind, if you will. And here recently, her and her husband came back to me and was telling me about the books that she had authored and the magazines that she had been in and the lives that she had saved. You know, uh, just as God's children, we're supposed to do a couple things that he wants us to do. And one of the most important things is sharing your life. I believe in sharing your life is the virtue of your mere existence here on this earth. We have to learn as people to give back and we can dare to dream and now giving back. I think that this wonderful girl, Nicole Simpson, has uh, created this fabulous book, one that I'm going to make sure that I buy and I purchase and tell someone else and tell someone else because I think that the key thing in existence in life is working through your challenges. An old boy has this young girl worked through her challenges and she came up with this phenomenal book. So on next Friday night, me and a bunch of my friends are going to come over and we're going to get our books autographed. Uh, we're going to get our books signed and we're going to support this cause because it's a, it is a cause. I think God's work is a cause. So, Nicole, I just want to say nothing but I give you nothing but accolades, give you nothing but love and support and tell you that keep doing what you're doing because you're doing his work. Uh, you're spreading his word. You're uplifting people by your life and your lifestyle. Take me back to 15 years old. Mm -hmm. I suffered seven years of sexual assault at the hands of um, my stepfather, and that was very devastating when he said that he would kill my mother. We believed him. Mm -hmm. From an early age, had a relationship with God, and I told him that. Even in my getting in contact with God, it was just such a blessing for me because no one in my family is religious. Molestation starts when a child might be three, four, five years old. It's a norm to them. So they're the individuals that at maybe the age of 13, 14, or 15 may assault someone else. When you experience trauma, it doesn't matter how, your first question is how do I deal with that issue? The second question is how am I going to handle this financially? So even my financial background and expertise helps me to counsel helps me to encourage, helps me to motivate, because once I can figure out the root cause of whatever the issue is that we've got to recover from, then I can say, well, this is how we move from this point. This is how we get back on track. And we use your situation and your circumstances to create a plan of action. My biggest question to individuals are, it, it begins with, if money was not an issue, what would be your life purpose? What would you do with your life? And if I can show you a way to make that happen, make that possible, make it even seem as if it was a dream, would you be interested? And most people will sit back and say yes. They might say, oh, I can't do that now, I'm too old. Or they may say, you know what, no, I, I missed that opportunity. Or they may say, you know, those excuses. But when we start tearing down the layers of the excuses to get back to what they're really passionate about, to get through all of the pain that they suffered that made them pull up those walls in the first place, then you have someone who is daring to dream. This is Angel Ellerby, and if you know me, you know that I have nothing but tough love, and this is my tough love. I'm telling you to come and support. God bless, God be with you, until next Friday. Yeah,